Hey, what's going on everyone? We're back here at the unit this Monday morning. It is what sold over the weekend and we've had some good ones, I know, especially this morning. And then we just had some on the way in. So let me grab those first. Yeah. Um, actually, well, I noticed that one of them's something I just listed in the last couple of days. So that one's still at the house. So I can't show you it in person, but I'll tell you about it and Chris can put up the screenshot. Yeah. It's just a pair of uh, sorrel like snow boots. Um, I did show them in our recent haul. I got them up in Denver when I went on my two day trip. So I paid $18.99 for them, sold them for $72 plus shipping really quickly. Nice. So yeah, that nice. was an awesome sale that came in this morning. And the other one that just came in is in box CX. Oh, don't act like it's taking a long time. <laughs> That's fine. They're in alphabetical like, order now. <laughs> I just separated all my labels on that side and this side. And yeah. then this one just came in after that. So. Oh, so yeah, we're yeah. A, little, a little mixed up. All right, so this one is just a pair of Kamek little toddler snow boots. Bought at Once Upon a Child for $8 and accepted a $30 offer on Posh. Sweet. Too bad. Now we're on this side until <laughs> I get to that side. So B E Kuru. Some Kuru purple knit slip on sneakers bought for $9.99, sold for $40. Am I ready? I, I'm pretty sure it says discount shipping, so most likely <laughs> accepted the Posh and VA offer on that one. Sweet. Yeah. Love that brand. Um, C. It was a really good sale that came in last night. Pair of Salomon, just like a trail shoe. I bought these for $12.99. Someone bought them for my full list price on Posh of $79. So. Ooh. Very nice. I know. Uh, box T, got a viewer sale. Christy, the Buffalo David Bitten jean. She bought the other pair last week. I was going to say, this sounds very familiar. Yeah. <laughs> um, so I'm assuming your husband or whoever you bought them for liked them. And so thank you so much for another purchase. $20 with discount shipping on Posh. I got these during Binsmith, so 207 my cost of goods. Awesome. Christy, thank you so much for that continued support. We do appreciate it very much. Yeah, thank you. All right, B.E. I'm looking at the bottom now. I got to get used to where this stuff is now. I know it used to be way down there. Now the C's are down there. All right, as soon as I told you guys like Y2K stuff seems to not be doing well, then I start selling off all my Y2K sandals <laughs> that have been sitting for a while. So maybe it's just they don't do so well in the winter. I don't know. Yeah. Um, these are like vintage LEI brand. Just those chunky faux leather brown sandals. Uh, bought for $9.99, sold for $35 plus shipping on Mercari. Nice. Yeah. All right, box X. This was a really good sale. Um, pair of cool pants. These, we actually went to see the movie Air on Friday for our date yeah. night. And this um, sale came in kind of when we were watching the movie. I was like, dang, that just paid for our whole movie. It day. did. That was cool. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, these cool pants I bought for $10.99. They sold for $65.21 plus shipping. They also sold global shipping, so the buyer was in like, I want to say like 80 something dollars. They're going to Canada. So. Sweet. Yeah. Which, guys, Air, by the way, good movie. Yeah. I, we recommend mm -hmm. it. It's, I think, I don't know. Do you think it was more interesting because we sell shoes and stuff? Maybe, yeah. Yeah. I, I, I mean, like, we've always kind of followed Michael Jordan yeah, a I little like bit too. Jordan, so. but yeah, go check it out. I learned a lot of cool stuff about like Converse and yeah. Adidas and all that stuff that I didn't know before, so. Um, this is one of the really good sales that came in this morning, that St. Pat vintage Russell yeah. Rolla sweatshirt. So this, we bought these, the day we got those two free birds, this was at the same store. There was two of them. Um, I didn't write down what I paid, but I think I paid $5.99 for these. Yeah. So anyways, this one sold for $86 plus shipping. I haven't listed the second yet because I wanted one to sell off just because... I mentioned one had a little more wash wear than the other, and I just didn't want to confuse them. So right. listed one, let it sell, and then I'll list the other one. This sold in just a few days of being listed, so. Very nice. Yeah. That was a good I, day. I, I think I said it was going to, like, I was seeing comps around 80, and then I was like, man, I hope it sells around that, because, like, now I'm going to feel stupid if it, if I'm just looking at the comps wrong. Right. Because it's such a, kind of just a weird thing, you know? It's not, like, a ton listed or sold. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, it got watchers right away. I've been sending 
um, offers and someone accepted. And it's actually going to Rolla, Missouri. So <laughs> that's cool. That was cool. And this was the better of the two. Uh, yeah, this one is the one that I said has a little less wash wear, but I did notice like a little faint like grease stain or something okay. on it. So it still has a little wear yeah. and still cool for that much. So. I'm probably going to price the other one the same, maybe even a little more and see what happens. So. I was trying to convince her to message the buyer and be like, so have we one. have another one. <laughs> and then maybe offer them a little bit of a better deal on that one. And, but what do you guys think? Should, no, should we, I'm gonna that's so out of character. For for <laughs> yeah, let's do no, for more. I don't like to. I know people do that. Yeah. I don't think there's a problem with it. I just don't want to yeah. do it. When people have done it to me, it's been awkward. So yeah. I just don't want to do it. <laughs> we'll just probably list it again. Yeah, yeah I'm going to just list it. Maybe they'll one. find it again, and then it'll be cool. But hey, I just had to photograph it, and then I already have my title and everything, so I just have to copy and paste at that point. Yeah, yeah. All right, so these good dinosaur crocs. Bought these at Once Upon a Child for four fifty, sold for twenty six oh six plus shipping. Neat. Are you laughing? No, I, I did. I just, <laughs> I'm surprised that the good dinosaur made it on crocs. That's a Disney okay. show? yeah. Or Disney movie or something? <laughs> the way his face, you guys can see his face, but he's like looking at me like, that's not the good dinosaur. But then I'm like staring at the heel right here. It says the good dinosaur on its own. I'm like, what is his I, face It's there? probably because I'm like thinking that the real good dinosaur movie was, you know, The Land Before Time and all that stuff. You I know. haven't seen it. Hey, why? Right, so these Meryl Cloud Knit sneakers, bought for $9.99, sold for $39. Oh, gosh, someone just bought them at my list price. Nice. Oh, had a few full price sales on Posh this weekend. See, oh. So these New Balance Minimus, bought for $8.99, sold for $34.76, plus shipping. Um, B. Wars Sketchers. You know, now that these boxes are more intermingled, you could really see where those labels were showing, kind of in the sun, because they, yeah. they yellowed from being in, near the window in our office. So, I don't know. I, I really want to I relabel you these. Want to <laughs> if you want to, it's all on you, because I just can't come right. any time to do it. <laughs> is it unreasonable, guys? For unreasonable. I, It would probably take a whole other roll. I don't know. How much is on a roll? I mean... I don't know, 500 labels? Because these are Dymo labels. Someone did ask that the other day. Yeah. What did you do for your letters? They're just Dymo labels. It's the same as these, yeah. Same as our shipping yeah, labels. I got only a cent or two each. It's not like the money or anything yeah. that I'm worried about, but like I just the time it would take to stick them all in here and then try to like not let the other one show through and stuff too. Yeah. It probably would look silly. I mean, you almost probably would have Could to- Could turn the box around, around. yeah. <laughs> Could do that. But <laughs> I don't know. Not it's something it. that I am losing sleep over. No, I'm just kidding. No. But <laughs> it is something that I, I kind of want to do. Should we do it? Should I do it? You shouldn't. Should I do it? <laughs> Make them all look like, like this section over here. This is all, you know, uniform. <laughs> Uh, so these Skechers, bought for $9.99, sold for $24 plus shipping, so about doubling my money there. A.O. Clarks. These are just like a Clark slip-on sneaker, bought for $10.99, sold for $30.41 plus shipping. Sweet. All right, and then I put this one in the middle on purpose because then we're going to be on that side. So what uh -oh. is this on the hanging rack here? Very glad these still Yeah, this was a good one. So much space, but yeah. Uh, these are those Cabela's, like a bib. Big coverall, yeah, yeah bib. Um, very, very thick, like quilt lined, size 4X, double knee, like everything you could want to probably do some work in the winter outdoors. <laughs> Everything I wish I had when I used to have to shovel yeah, snow, snow the for the school districts <laughs> and all that, yeah. Um, so these came from Ben Smith, two forty four cost of goods into forty dollars plus shipping. So very nice. Yeah. All right. All switchy spots. <laughs> okay, there it was like, did we bring these yet? <laughs> FM. I was gonna say we did get the comment, like, why do we do letters yeah. instead of numbers, right? And it makes sense to have numbers, right? Because it's easier to know, okay, what's after the number eight, yeah. what's before the number eight versus what's after J, what's before J, right? Um, and, you know, like originally the idea when we were doing the boxes, we were going to have the letters on the box and then each bag inside was actually going to be a number. So it's going to be like 
V10, right? So it would be go get item V10, right? And, and for us, it just didn't make sense to do that. We did it for, I don't know, the first yeah. 100 items or so. Yeah, barely any. <laughs> yeah, and we just, for yeah, us, it just didn't make sense. It, and like, if you can see, like, like pull a box open. Some of them, they're not just like in flush order. Right. You know? So yeah. like, if we put some to the sides, how would we know? Right. I don't know. You'd still have to be looking for the number. Yeah. Right. So and rather there's than. so little items in each that, especially since I'm just doing it myself. I guess if we were hiring help or something, it'd probably be useful but yeah i'm visually seeing the item i know what i sold i know what i bought mm -hmm. so that's why we did it but yeah numbers would make more sense probably it, it makes more sense yeah. unless you're doing like um numbering the bags because I, I then i think that like one one or one ten yeah but then if you're a vi if you're like verbally relaying it to somebody then it gets a little yeah. more confusing so i mean yeah Whatever we chose the letters. I think whatever works for you in your situation is ultimately the best, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> um, if if we decided to do not do the numbers inside before, then I think we would have gone with numbers, right? If if because uh, I I think it's better to have the difference between the box versus the inside content. So, yeah. but yeah, uh, that's that's kind of why we do it. It's kind of like almost. Um, grandfathered in at this point <laughs> so uh but yeah just wanted to answer that i know we get these comments here and there and sometimes it doesn't make sense why we do things yeah but honestly it won't i was reading the comments when we were like driving to church or something and, and she was like i don't know why why do we do that <laughs> yeah. and he told me and i was like oh yeah i forgot that we started doing the numbers on the back yeah up, so yeah yep all right so these clark sandals uh bought for 10.99 so for 34.76 plus shipping if that number doesn't match on the screen, it's just because I can't read my writing. But I'm pretty sure that's what it says. So. You know, last time I told them to trust yeah. what you say. <laughs> no. Right. I'm pretty sure that was what it was. Those sold this morning, too. So I know I didn't send an offer on them. F O. Uh, sold these Bionic loafers. Bought for $6.50. Sold for $43.46 plus shipping. Those sold in like a day of being listed. I just listed those the day before Easter, so that was awesome. Yeah, very nice. E -P. E -P. <laughs> I think once we under once we remember kind of the it's it's more out of whack because we just shifted all of our boxes. So once you get to remember where that roughly is, it'll be way better. Uh, so these are a pair of like Nike Hirachi sandals, bought for eight fifty, sold for forty with discount shipping on Osh. E S. And JBU by Jambu, just like a floral Mary Jane kind of sandal, bought for eight fifty, sold for thirty one with discount shipping on Posh. Sweet. E E. This is how you say that brand name. I'm not even going to try to pronounce it. Maybe Janji? Yeah. <laughs> I got this during Binsmas. Um, pretty much, I noticed it had the tag on it, so I always, like, look up or just... If it's at the Bins and has a new tag, I usually grab it. Mm -hmm. um, but, yeah, I also noticed the retail price on it was, like, 68 bucks or something for just a T-shirt. Uh, I noticed, I think it was organic cotton, things like that. So I was like, okay, it's got to be worth something. And I ended up getting $20 plus ship. It's a men's small. I think if it was, like, an XL or something, I could have got closer to 30 to 40 mm -hmm. um, But very happy with 251 bins cost into 20 Very happy. Yeah. Um, FC, that did get other offers, like, since I've had it listed for, of, like, 15 and stuff, and I just hadn't accepted, but now it's been, what, four or five months? I'm like, yeah, it can go. <laughs> I sold those cool sandals oh, that I yeah. found. Um, yeah, so Lida, still don't know, Lita <laughs> by Sierra, I'm not sure how that's pronounced. The musician, yes. right? <laughs> <laughs> um, so, yeah, I just could tell they were good quality. They almost remind me of, like, the quality of, like, a Gucci slide or something, Ooh. so, like, I could just tell they were a nice leather. Yeah. Um, so I paid $14, kind of on a whim. Like, there was barely any comps to go off of for this brand in general. Um, and someone offered me 50 this weekend. So I took Very it. nice, I think I yeah. I listed them at, like, 88 They retailed for, like, 150 148 something like that. So, yeah. I feel happy. like anytime something is related to somebody famous, right, <laughs> uh, it's worth looking into. Yeah, for sure. F.G. 
haul enough. My Denver haul already. This was a pair I found up there, the Vessi sneakers. So I guess these are like a waterproof sneaker. They're like a knit though. I mm. tried them on, they were my size. They, they were pretty comfy. I just didn't think I would wear them much. So I sold them, uh, bought for 14, sold for 47.81 plus shipping. Sweet. Yeah. EL. This was a great sale too. That's Behind good. it. She sells this weekend. These are some Nike Air Max 270s. Bought for $14.99, sold for $75 plus shipping. Mm -hmm. uh, that was an offer I sent to a watcher. These have been listed a few months now. So I had them listed, I think, closer to $100. I've sold some in that $100 range before, but for whatever reason, these were just taking a little bit longer than I wanted. So $75, very happy with that. And they're going um, the eBay Authenticate, whatever. Oh, show. yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's cool. Gotta get authenticated. <laughs> All right, EX. Right there. The Green Bay Nike shoes already sold. I did pay $19.99 for those. I figured I could at least double my money. And that's about pretty much what I did. I got $49 plus shipping. So after eBay fees and everything, I'm probably about $20 to $22 profit. Not too Love bad. It. So yeah. fast though. Okay, then FK was the last one. So I'm just basic brown dance goes. Bought for I didn't write it on here. <laughs> I want to say I wouldn't pay more. Imagine no more than twelve ninety nine at the right, most right. into forty dollars on Poshmark. So no Poshmark, yeah, Poshmark. Very nice. I didn't write discount shipping, so I think that somebody offered me forty. <laughs> Sweet. So we're gonna get this stuff up back to the office, get them all packed up and shipped off. So. Yeah, I did want to mention a couple things that we, you might have noticed we've got a new step ladder here and that is gonna be, we're gonna be working on some kind of um, storage above here and specifically for open shoes. I have a couple ideas I'm gonna be trying out and seeing if they'll work. So, um, but that also brings up the, the idea that I'm gonna, I, I do wanna come out with a video and I know we've, <laughs> I know I've said this for a long time about our inventory system, but I think um, with a lot of the questions that we get and the big change of moving here to the storage unit and all that, I really think it's gonna be a video that I'm gonna get out very soon. Um, you know, we get a lot of questions about our shelves and all that. And uh, just to, to make it available to you guys, I'll, I'll draw up some plans and all that kind of stuff. And in case you ever wanted to do it this way and kind of the why we do it the way we do it, the how and all that kind of stuff. But I have some ideas for the shoe storage above. And I'm kind of even thinking like a big, tall uh, shoe rack for here. That's not this rolling one. I don't know. We might do that one. We might not. But um, but once that's figured out, then look forward to that video. Um, I'm going to put a lot of thought and uh, work into that one because I know it's a big request that we get. And it has been for the last mm -hmm. three years. We just had our three year anniversary on YouTube, which is kind of crazy. Mm -hmm. uh, what do you think about that? I think that's pretty crazy. It's crazy, it isn't is it? Crazy. <laughs> Three years. <Yeah. laughs> so, um, and then another question that we had real quick I wanted to answer was when I cut this shelf down, right? Just cut it down a couple, like an inch and a half there. Why didn't, why didn't you move the shelf, right? Why didn't you just slide the shelf down? Which is a good idea, right? Um, the reason why I didn't even think about it uh, is because if you look here, there's this much space between this and here and I need somewhere to put this battery. We have it kind of shoved behind there and I'm gonna put a shelf here to stick the battery here so that if the battery is still here, we can still close the door and all that. And if I would have scooted the shelf over, that would have made that impossible. Um, we have even put the for that battery at least. Um, and we really do need a place for that. I'm also gonna put some like shelving for like somewhere to hang our keys and stuff like that. Uh, along there. And a cup holder in case I... A cup holder? Any more drink. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if you watched our video a, few, a month or so ago, I spilled a drink spilled like, a... all over the place. So. <laughs> but yeah, just a little utility, just very... I was going to have somewhere to put the thing there, but it sticks out too much, so I'm just putting that back in that corner. But... 
that, and then it also would have been a pain in the butt to move all this stuff. Um, I would have had to offload all the shell, all the boxes off the shelf, slide it over. They're all screwed together. So it was just much easier to take that little section apart, take it back. It took me two minutes to cut it and all that stuff. So that's why <laughs> ultimately, but yeah, guys, that's it for today's video. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Thanks for all of the amazing support. We do appreciate it, but we're going to get packing and we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Bye.